Welcome to Mayo Dermatology. I'm Mega Tollefson. I'm a pediatric dermatologist uh, here in the department, and I'm our residency program director. I'm also our pediatric dermatology fellowship program director. Elliot Campbell, and I'm a PGY3. My name is Chelsea Hanfield, and I'm a first year derm resident. My name is George Bonadour. I'm, an, I'm a third year resident. I think what makes Mayo Clinic so special as a resident is the shared sense of value towards taking care of the patients. The needs of the patient comes first. And the shared value of collaboration. Every consultant that I've met has seemed to have a genuine interest in getting to know me and in fostering my learning. Probably in part because I'm gonna be representing Mayo going forward as well, so they want me to represent them well. And everyone has a part in, in what we do. Our excellent nursing staff and residents, I mean, we're all equally valued and have a huge part in patient care. And I think everyone feels that here. When you're here, you can really feel that you're part of that team and uh, making the experience what it is at Mayo. People really have a shared purpose. They come together to do the right thing, to take care of patients, and you feel it every day in the way that you practice, in the way you interact with others, including your colleagues. Why is Mayo so special? To me, that's the main secret sauce. We see a huge diversity of patients here at Mayo. Complex medical and surgical consults that come in from tertiary medical centers to bread and butter dermatology from our surrounding area. And I really enjoy this mix because I think it, as a resident, you really need to be able to master those common dermatologic conditions. But at the same time, it's great to be able to see and treat patients with conditions that many only see in the textbooks. I think having a good balance of both types of patients um, and throughout the spectrum is, is really important and is one of the main strengths of our residency program. We rotate in clinical dermatology, but also all the subspecialties. Uh, pediatric dermatology, dermatologic surgery, uh, dermatopathology, and inpatient medicine as well. So I think when people hear the Mayo Clinic, you think of the more complex things, but really we're getting exposure to the whole breadth of dermatology. So no matter what type of dermatologist you want to be, whether you want to be in a small town, community practice, or you want to be at an academic institution, you're really prepared well for whatever you might want. The graduated autonomy system was one of the things that I really appreciated about the way that the residency program is set up. From the beginning of residency, coming in with the mindset that in three years, I'm gonna be on my own and I need to be comfortable and taking full ownership of my patients and developing those skills now. The way that works in our program is in the first year, um, you, you often see patients on your own calendar, uh, but also see patients uh, with a consultant or faculty member on their calendar. But in whatever scenario you're in, you always have direct supervision, and that's a requirement. So as I get more comfortable and more senior through the program, my patient volume also increases so that when I'm finished, I already know how to see 20 patients in a day. As you get to your final year, you see only your own patients with supervision. You feel comfortable with it though because you've gained that level of comfort, that level of autonomy through the curriculum. You really become a teacher at that point in time. You're running your own procedure clinic every week in conjunction with the dermatologic surgeons, but not only are you tasked with treating the patient, but you're also in charge of teaching the first year resident. When I matched here, I knew that when I left, I would be comfortable practicing on my own. And that's the purpose of residency. Through our curriculum, we're able to rotate beyond just here in the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. We're able to go to sites elsewhere in Minnesota and Wisconsin through the Mayo Clinic Health System to get even more of a community feel for several weeks. You can also rotate at the Mayo Clinic locations in Arizona and Florida. It's a great way to get exposure to different patient populations, different practice styles, to get a real good diversity of exposure in your training. Every single resident has the opportunity to take an elective, um, to do you know whatever they really want to do that that you can't do physically within our department. And so people have traveled overseas, people have traveled to other parts of the country to learn things that they want to gain more exposure to. People have done research electives, they've done electives in other departments. Uh, there's just such a variety of possibility and opportunity there. In addition to that, every resident has protected research time, and that's been a really nice opportunity to either gain experience with research, depending on how much experience you have, or to be involved in lots of research projects if you know that's your area of interest. We have state-of-the-art facilities, and they're all focused downtown, which is really convenient for the residents and for the faculty. 
We feature one of the largest multi-headed scopes in the nation where residents and fellows can simultaneously review pathology and render diagnoses. So as the consultant is going through a slide, every single other person in the room can just look at our particular scope and see exactly what they're seeing. Uh, we also have a Mohs area, which facilitates seven Mohs surgeons and four multi-headed scopes where residents, fellows, and consultants can review histopathology related to Mohs. Uh, adjacent to this, we have a very large Mohs lab where this histopathology is processed from excellent and really experienced techs. In our phototherapy room, we have several nurses that offer numerous different therapies from narrowband UVB to treat more common inflammatory conditions to more specialized UVA1 therapy, which treats rare conditions such as graft-versus-host disease. We have a tremendous medical photography suite. With dermatology, everything is visual, so it's important to have good photographs. And that just uh, really helps patient care because we're not relying on taking our own photos. We have a trained professional that's able to do it to highlight and to um, take photos that are gonna be helpful as we take care of patients moving forward. The other area that that really helps in is publications. So these are publication quality uh, photographs uh, that are really incredible. It's just a wonderful resource that we have available to us. Residents actually have the opportunity to do laser procedures on their own patients. And so the different types of lasers that we have on our floor right now, we have the pulse to dye laser or a V-beam. We have a diode laser. We have the XLV that also has a long pulsed ND YAG component. We also have a CO2 laser and a fractionated CO2 laser. We really have the opportunity to, to learn a lot of good um, laser procedures with a lot of different lasers here. One of the really exciting developments recently is the creation of the Aesthetic Center. Uh, the Aesthetic Center is new and it's an interdisciplinary center with multiple specialties and dermatology is integral um, in this. And so this is a wonderful opportunity for our residents to rotate through the Aesthetic Center and gain a lot of great cosmetic experience. Those dermatologists are taking part in the patient's care, but they're also interacting in the same space with many surgical subspecialists. And this is an opportunity for us as residents to see um, uh, what it looks like to have this really complex aesthetic plan. And this is going to be an amazing opportunity for us to get higher volume of cosmetic exposure. So things from Botox, filler, but also we have amazing lasers there as well. Rochester is a, a fun mid-sized city. There's a lot of great restaurants, there's parks, there's bike paths, there's hiking. There's really a lot going on, so it's a fun place to live. There's food, there's art, there's culture, there's a farmer's market that gets awards every year. Individuals come from all over the world to train and to learn and, and take care of patients, but also to be patients here. And it creates a really interesting environment and a very diverse environment that I think all of us really enjoy. Many of us live a walk away from Mayo. You know, it takes me seven minutes to get to work in the morning and I walk every single day. And to me, that's just, it just de-stresses my life. Uh, and then others that have families live at the most a 10 minute drive. And I don't think many of us have ever sat in traffic in Mayo. If you're looking for something even a little bit bigger, you can drive up to Minneapolis, which isn't very far away. So I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's a fun place to be with. Uh, a uh, diverse and dynamic group of people. But I think one of the biggest things about Rochester that I love is that the people just genuinely care about each other. And I find a sen there's a sense of community and a sense of belonging and a sense of family uh, that is just really unique uh, and I think really appreciated. We have one of the largest, if not the largest, residency class in the country. We have 24 residents. I really love my fellow residents. We get along really well. We have a real diverse group of residents, which I think adds to the richness of the program. Diversity in terms of race and ethnicity, diversity in terms of experience, interesting perspectives uh, on just life experiences, and then also on dermatologic care. But what they have as commonalities, what are what is like a core set of kind of uh, qualities or values that they have, they are extremely, extremely accomplished, uh, super smart, um, but at the same time you would never know it. They are humble, they care, uh, they take care of each other, and most importantly they take care of their patients in the way that any patient would want to you know, really hope to be taken care of. And I've found just incredibly supportive co-residents here and probably lifetime friends as well. 
Uh, residency is phenomenal if you spend it with individuals that are friendly and supportive, and I think we have that here. You should come to Mayo Derm because you can make this experience exactly what you want it to be. Thank you.